historical performance is a, is a great part of music. It has form and it's, it's the bed for most of what we have today, is the foundations. The Masters programme was really where I found the way to marry um, historical research and historical performance. The music is great and I love how the instruments sound, especially in an ensemble. Within historical performance, this department welcomes students onto the bachelor's programme, master's programme and doctoral programme. We have students that come to us for full-time study, but also some of the students who are in other departments, vocal, wind, brass, percussion and keyboard, also do some secondary study. This is my third year in Gunnertal and the first year I, I went to quite a lot of the historical performance lectures. You learn lots of different styles that are required in Baroque music. I really feel as a singer that you need to know about the his history of what you're singing, the background, the context, and not only, for instance, in an operatic aria, knowing the story, but also knowing the composer's background and also the background of the music of the time so that you can make certain stylistic decisions. No one really 100% knows how the early music was done, but it's having the confidence and a little bit of background research um, that means that you can perform something the way that you legitimately think it should be performed. Within the department we offer specialist classes in all of the different historical periods covering almost a millennia of music really from the medieval times up to say um, the romantic period and within each of those periods we have specialist tutors who are all performers out there in the field with their own ensembles. We have a side-by-side -side project in conjunction with the Academy of Ancient Music who are new artists in residence at the Barbican Centre led by Pavlo Beznazuk who is a spectacular violinist. He of course trained at the school under David Takeno and it's wonderful that he's come back to the school to be our principal tutor in Baroque violin. Experience is what counts in all sorts of walks of life. It's, it's one of the quickest ways of learning, particularly true of, of music. Now I absolutely firmly believe that all of the singers in the consort should be aiming towards a soloistic career uh, if that's what they want to do. One of the points of this class is to try and make them employable while they're on that trajectory. We bring the world of the professional uh, musician into the classroom and that's the, the kind of environment that the students interact with when they're taking our classes. Another really fundamental aspect uh, is the ability to be a good colleague. Now this can transmit itself into any line of work in which, you know, be it opera, uh, opera chorus, you know, solo work. The ability to get on with one's colleagues, to be well prepared, to be professional. We do everything from stage, stage projects right the way through to cantatas and I did a medieval lunchtime concert yesterday um, and I'm doing a Messiah on Thursday. I mean it's the whole breadth of, of knowledge and of repertoire um, that you can take out into the big wide world and, and use. So for example a couple of years ago um, the sopranos and mezzos of the consort provided the offstage chorus um, for Britain's Symphonia's performances of L'Enfance du Christ by Berlioz uh, conducted by Mark Elder and that was a wonderful experience for them to work with an orchestra of that calibre and more especially with a conductor of Sir Mark's standing. I have been in New York for the last two months working on Richard III and Twelfth Night with Shakespeare's Globe on Broadway. The first time that the Globe have performed on Broadway and the first time in fact that historical period instruments have been used in Broadway shows. It's been unbelievably amazing. <laughs> I've had an absolutely fantastic time. It's really important to me that we uh, ensure that each student gets the support that they need with one-to-one -one tutorials and uh, regular performance platforms. We follow their development very closely and make sure that they have everything that they need to succeed when we, when we say goodbye and send them on their way.